Hey guys, Jamie Lee here from Bird Tricks, and today's video is a continuation of Fennel's story. Now, Fennel is a six month old female eclectus parrot who came to me from a client who actually had a consult and she was having a really hard time getting this bird to step up or even want human interaction. So you are following me through Fennel's story in the series of Fennel of me taking her for two and a half months and working with her to increase her want and desire for interacting with people and stepping up nicely without biting and stepping up at all because she really lacked interest. In today's video specifically, you're gonna see me try to work in new people, including my daughter, who at the time of this filming was eight years old, and my neighbor, Melinda, thank you so much, Melinda, for being willing to be my guinea pig through this, um, as well as training Fennel in or with distractions, like, a lot of distractions as you're gonna see. Now, a lot of the time when you're first teaching a bird a behavior, you don't necessarily wanna have any distractions. Um, but in this case that you're gonna see in this video, I thought it was a really good thing to show that she will work through distractions. So I hope you guys gain a lot of insight through this video that you're about to see with Fennel. I'm gonna set up the camera and warm her up, and then I'm gonna have you do the same stuff that I do, okay? You wanna try to warm her up? What are you gonna do? <laughs> no, step up! No, no, we're gonna be targeting the one. Not that far. Well, just there you go. Okay, I'm gonna warm her up, okay? Choose what to touch it. Good girl. See here. So I'm gonna have you have her step up for you too. Try to get this at a better angle. She's not gonna bite you. Fennel, Fennel, you're not gonna bite Capri, right? You ready? It is. Are you watching Capri? Mm -hmm. Good job. Okay, so the thing with her is that she is gonna want like right back off your hand. Okay. So you'll put her right back off as part of her reward. So you don't give her a treat? You do. It's just part of her reward to also get off of you. Hey, it's so hard to tell if she's not done or is done. No, she's always eating. No. She's so slow, I bet she eats until her lights goes off and she keeps eating in the dark. <laughs> so try to have her calm down. What are you doing? Yeah, she's Where's scared. Where's the other treat? Show the other one. I think she's more excited about this one. And try to have her come to you. Don't. No. Okay. Needs to be away. Oh, something about how you're doing it is give her the little white one. I'm confused. Okay, I'll show you again. I don't want to. Huh? I don't want to. It's harder. It's just because she's slow and you're getting nervous. Okay, I'm going to show you. Watching? So eating. Yeah, I know, but sometimes she'll still do it. Okay. I'm gonna put you on this one. Maybe this will be easier. Good girl. But I really think she'd be easier in the cage. <laughs> she's just Maybe try when she's ready versus just you. Stop eating! <laughs> Ten hours okay. later. She looks ready to me. Oh, she starts chewing. Okay, go ahead. Yep, go closer. Closer. I'm scared. She was being really good. Okay, if you're gonna do that, then you're not ready. Okay? 
I get that you're scared, but if you do that, it's going to confuse her and it's going to make it so that she's not good for other people. So, I'm going to ask Melinda if she would be willing. Are you busy? Okay. Um, I have a random question to ask. Feel free to say no. I am trying to show in a video that... And Capri's too scared, and Dave is on a consult. So that's why I'm not asking them. If you're like, why are you asking me? I'm trying to show in a video that what I'm doing is transferable to somebody else. So I would like to show you getting Fennel to step up for you for a treat. She's the red bird. Um, if you are willing to do that on video. So you're going to offer her your right hand. And to step up on. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, and then as soon as she the steps left. up, yeah, as soon as she steps up both feet, okay. or you just hear the click, you can give her a reward. Okay. Whatever. Whenever you feel like she looks ready, she looks good to me. Yes. What a good gal. And you can direct her to go back down. You don't want to go back down? You can try putting her on this purple one over here instead. There we go. And she's probably okay. not done with her first treat. But. Okay. Awesome. And then if you want to do the same thing when she looks done eating from okay. that one, and you can just set her back down on this one. Perfect. That'd be awesome. Hi. Good job, Fennel. Hi, She's so pretty. Mm -hmm. Alright, you ready? Yeah. It's so good. Good job. Wow. That was super cool. Okay, I am going to set this camera down so that I can grab my phone and take a video for Chelsea because okay. I think she will just be so stoked about this. Because a lot of people are just like, you're a miracle worker, they're just doing it for you because you're you. Oh, sure. And I'm like, wow. <laughs> She's like, hi. Let's work together. You got <laughs> treats. Speaking of that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, I got one more. Okay. If you can get her attention and just ask her again. Hey, sweetie. Come here. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. We know that one. Good job, I need more treats. Just hang out with me. <laughs> and you can always use a treat to get her back down. <laughs> Which you might ask. Okay. Okay. Oh, good. Nuts. You can go work with Rusty if you want. Oh, he would love that. Oh, I love Rusty. Hey, Rusty, Z, what you doing? <laughs> I have a handful nickname or old one. That's better than mine. So this time, I'm going to work on pulling Fennel out of the aviary, going back in, because she's kind of nervous getting moved around. No, Oh, brutal. 
Alicia. She dropped the nut to eat the sunflower seed. The girl, baby Bo, he's gonna help. Gonna try again? No. Thanks for your. Thanks for your seed shell. You're still eating. Oh, flash was on. You ready? Look at you, outside of the aviary. Doing so good. Inside of the aviary. Doing so good. <clears throat> and do it again. Good job. Look at you, out of the aviary. Good job. Out of the aviary. Walk, walk, walk in place. Go back. Good job. Easy peasy, right? Okay, I'm gonna move you guys a little bit. Hold on, gotta change some stuff. Should we change it up a little bit? On your target? <laughs> she offered her foot too. So the plan is supposed to be ready Monday. Okay. That's exciting. Yeah, I'm not actually excited. Why? Because I'm tired of being too excited about it not actually ending up happening. Oh. So, um, do you want multiple toys on these? Yeah, like group a few together of different sizes and stuff. I know. Distracted. Come on. Okay. Good job. A little bit more nervous that time. You're doing so good. Scurvies. Bo needs uh, a bunch of toys. Where the heck are your toys? We moved them all around. You just eat them all. <laughs> He's gonna have so much fun destroying all of them. He's that. like. <laughs> He's, He's going right for that. Lovely buddy. Dangly. Need a little breakaroo you. so I can change oh, cages. Yeah. <laughs> 
Would you keep him if, if Greg is like, I don't want him back? No. Really? Really. Uh, why'd you let Jinx out? So I like everybody. I know you can do it. Good girl. You're just doing awesome. Okay, I'm gonna get some toys for everybody. I'm 100% supported through Patreon over at patreon.com forward slash bird tricks. It's through your support that I'm able to take on these birds at absolutely no cost to the owners, rescues, or future owners of these birds.